What is going on, beautiful people? Today, we are answering the question, how do narcissists respond to ultimatums when you give a narcissist an ultimatum? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a clinically diagnosed narcissist, and welcome to episode 986 of the Narcissist Code. Boom. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Y'all closing in on the 1000 episodes. Y'all 986. I can't believe y'all been here with me for this long. How long? Like drop it in the comment section. How long have y'all been following me? How long have y'all been listening to me? Just babble on about narcissists and, and laugh and entertain you and inform you. You know, I appreciate every single one of y'all being here. I seriously do. Um, but yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do narcissists respond to ultimatums? How should you give a narcissist the ultimatum? So there could be a couple of ways that narcissists can respond to ultimatums, y'all. We're going to break it down right here from the perspective of a diagnosed narcissist. That's, that's why you're here, right? That's why you're with me, right? That's why, you, that's why you're here with me, right? <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the mindset of a lot of narcissists, y'all. But seriously, <clears throat> this is the mindset of a narcissistic person, y'all. If you give a narcissist an ultimatum, like if you're fed up, um, if you're fed up, right? Um, if you're fed up with a narcissist, and you just like, okay, I'm, I'm done with this person. I'm fed up with this behavior. I'm done with this. I need some change here. I want them to do this rather than, rather than do that. Like if you fed up with a narcissistic person, then you get them an ultimatum, which is if y'all don't know what an ultimatum is to say fi a final demand or statement of terms, the rejection of which will result in retaliation or a breakdown in relations. Like you'll break up with them. If you don't do this, if you don't marry me, I'm leaving. If you don't change your behaviors, I'm leaving. If you don't, if you don't stop hitting me, I'm calling the police. If you don't stop cheating on me, I'm going to marry your dad. I'm going to marry your mom. But whatever it is, you say, I'm going to leave you for your brother. I'm going to leave you for your sister. Wh whatever the dynamic is, whatever the situation is. If you give a, no no a narcissist an ultimatum, the one way that they will respond is they will just absolutely refuse to do it. Absolute refusal. Because y'all know. Most narcissists, I'm not saying all because some react differently. Most narcissists hate when people tell them what to do. They, you, they hate when you give them direction. When you, they hate when you just tell, like when you, when you are in a position of power or authority over this narcissistic person, they absolutely hate it. So no, they're not going to listen to you. Why would they listen to you? They don't care. Like, it, Hey, if you don't pick up the slack around here, I'm going to fire you. Fire me then. I quit. You see what I'm saying? They'll start doing, y'all, they'll start doing more of the behavior that you want them to stop. They'll start doing more of it. They'll keep doing it. They'll escalate the behaviors. Oh, you don't like when I hit you. How about if I pistol whip you? You see what I'm saying? You don't like when I cheat on you. How about if I cheat on you and bring you an STD home? Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm going to cheat on you. I'm going to cheat on you unprotected now. That's the mindset that a lot of narcissists have right there. Like, you cannot tell me what to do. I am my, I am a, uh, I'm entitled. I'm so entitled that nobody on this planet can tell me what to do. I don't care if I'm a, I just started working here and you've been the boss for 20 years. You can't tell me what to do. I run, I can run this, but I know I don't know. The, I, I know I barely even know the name of the company, but if you tell me I need to pick up my, pick up the slack around here, are you going to fire me? I can do this job better than you can. Even though you've been here 20 years, fire me. I quit. You see what I'm saying? That's what like y'all, they will just do more of the behavior. They'll just explode. They become explosive and they'll become erratic and they hate it. And they'll just go into, you know, it's kind of like, babe, turn, babe, if you don't turn right, we're going to be on the highway for 25 extra minutes. Turn right, turn right, babe, right now, turn right. They'll keep it straight. They'll ignore the exit. Oh, I, I know, I know, I knew the exit was coming. I just don't want you to tell me what to do. So now we got, now it's your fault. We're going to be here for 25 extra minutes. They'll blame you for the behavior continuing. You shouldn't have gave me an ultimatum. I was, I was going to do it. I was going to do it until you told me I had to do it, which is the damn. Yeah. If y'all believe that, I, look, if y'all believe that, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> if you believe a narcissistic person, when they say something like that, I, I really do not know what to tell you. Like, I don't know what to tell you here. If you believe a narcissist that says something to you along the lines of that right there, I really don't know what to tell you because they're going to try to manipulate you. They're going to try to like trick you and confuse you and make it seem like the a lot of them will be trying to make it seem like the behavior that you're experiencing is not that bad 
they'll try to make it seem like the behavior, like you're overreacting and giving them an ultimatum. They'll make you feel bad about giving them. Look, look, they'll make you feel bad about giving them an ultimatum. You gonna you gonna tell me what to do? You gonna give me an ultimatum? Wow, you must really never care. You must really not care about me. Wow, wow, you a horrible person. I can't believe you would do you would do this. Are you that desperate for control? You're so controlling. You so you want you you so, you're so controlling and insecure that you would give me an ultimatum. Wow, who cares if we if we've been together? If we if we've been in a relationship for seventeen years. Who cares if we're not married? You debt insecure that I'm going to leave you? In it. Who cares if, like, if we've been married, if we've been together for six, 17 years? We have three, four kids together. We've opened up all these businesses and got all these houses and cars in my name. Who cares? Why do you, are you so insecure that I'm going to leave you? Wow. I'm not, I'm not marrying you. Definitely not marrying you now. Boom. They'll make you feel bad and insecure for giving them an ultimatum. They'll turn around and attack you for giving them an ultimatum. That happens all the time. That's why it's like, should I should I give a narcissist an ultimatum? I like what when somebody asks me that question, like, should I give them ultimatum? I said, what is your goal? Are you going to stand on it? Because if you give them an ultimatum and they don't do what you ask, if they don't they don't do if they don't give into your list of demands or whatever, and you don't leave or you don't you don't hold them accountable, you just gave them more power. If you give them an ultimatum and you don't hold them accountable. You just gave them more power. And I know that sounds bad, but like at least it sounds like victim blaming. I'm not trying to do victim blame. I'm just saying, if you give them an ultimatum, if you don't stop doing this, I'm going to do this, and you and they do it again, and they just say, no, I'm, I'm going to keep doing what I want to do, and you don't hold them accountable, you just gave them more power because now your word means less. You see what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to leave, whatever it is. It's just saying, think before you give them an ultimatum. Am I really ready to follow through with this? If they don't do this, am I really ready to follow through with it? You know, and another way I'll say this right here. Another way that a narcissist could respond to an ultimatum is they do what you want. They do what you ask. Some of them, some narcissists can absolutely, they'll absolutely do what you ask. They'll do exactly what you ask them to, them to do. But this is the thing right here, y'all. If you have to give someone an ultimatum and it's something that they really don't want to do, then do, are, you have to ask yourself that question right here. They really don't want to marry me, but they just agreed to marry me because I said I was going to leave them if they didn't. Is that a is that a marriage you think is on solid footing right there? Is that a marriage that you think is going to last a long time right there? You see what I'm saying? Is that a marriage that you think is going to be built on? Is that marriage right there? Does that marriage have a solid foundation, so to speak? You know. Does that marriage have solid footing? <laughs> is that marriage going to continue? Is that marriage going to last a long time? It could, but I would tell people longevity doesn't always mean happiness. Longevity doesn't mean uh, we're we're going to be good together. It's just we're together. So if they do give in to your demands of, of your ultimatum, it's not a guarantee that they actually want to do it. They're just doing it to keep you there. Like, oh, if you don't marry me. By the end of it, like let's just say it's December. I saw, man, I, matter of fact, I saw, matter of fact, I saw this on TikTok very recently. This is an actual thing I saw on TikTok very recently, y'all. A girl had been they've been, they been together since high school. They were thirteen years old and they got together. They twenty three years old now with two kids, and this is like December the fourteenth or whatever. She gave she's like, if my boyfriend doesn't marry me or ask me to marry him by December thirty first, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. And he straight up told the camera, he's like, I'm not marrying you. Why would I marry you right now? I'm not gonna do it because I'm not saying this dude is a narcissist. She's like, he's like, I'm not marrying you. Why would I do this right now? We've been, we've been together two, we've been we've been together ten years. You already do wife stuff. Why would you? Why would I want to marry you now because you forced me to do it? And then everybody comment section like, yeah. Why why would he do that? You've already given him everything he wants without the title. So why would he do that now? You see what I'm saying? Some of them would like say, and even if he and she didn't leave, of course, December thirty first rolled around, and she was like, "Y'all don't understand, like that life is hard, and when you got kids, they're like, then why did you bring it to the internet? Y'all just so judgmental. Why did you bring it to the internet? Why you think we just like? I'm just telling you, she didn't leave, and now she has no power. She's gonna keep threatening that. Now he knows he's in control. Now he knows he's in charge right there. So if you give them ultimatum, you don't follow through. They they have more power. But it, but then again, let's just say he did. Just say okay. Will you marry me? Do you think he? They don't want to do that. They're just giving in, y'all. If they don't want to do something, they're going to. If they do something that they really don't want to do, they're going to half ass it. They, they're not even half ass it. They're going to one third or one fourth ass it. They're going to one fifth ass it. 
one tenth asset. You know, and then I will have asset <laughs> in that space right there. But that's the mindset right there, y'all. So giving a narcissist an ultimatum, ask yourself, before you do that, ask yourself, what's the goal? What, what am I trying to achieve here? And it, do they really want to do this if I have to get them an ultimatum to do it? And if they don't do it, Am I going to follow through with the accountability that I stated in my ultimatum, in my terms, in my in my terms of agreement, in my terms and conditions? Those are questions that you have to ask yourself. Because if you don't, this is the type of stuff that'll happen, y'all. You just end up in these toxic relationship dynamics and just being strung along and dangled along for a long time. But anyway, y'all, th- thank y'all for tuning into another episode. I'm truly grateful that y'all are here. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Mental illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos on my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids book. Remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.